Hi everyone, we dissected uh, I, Bua and I today in the class. So just thought of uh, showing it uh, for you all too. It's a little bit dry at the moment, right? So this is the I. Uh, you know people, uh, this is bow and cow eye. So this is the front side. We have the cornea. White color part, what is it? Sclera, no? White color part is sclera. Right? The cornea present. Then uh, the back, we can see these are the extra ocular muscles. What do you call? Extrinsic uh, muscles. So we had to clean it a little bit, right? To uh, see the optic nerve. So first of all, Let's try to clean it. It's going to take some time. You need a little bit of patience uh, to see the optic nerve, right? So I'm going to cut it and then uh, remove these uh, extra tissues behind the eye and uh, make it a little more right, clean. So let me do it. Right, eye is uh, surrounded by some of the fat tissues. You know, this is uh, absorbing shocks and vibrations inside the eye socket. So you can see that these uh, fat tissues are present behind. Then uh, you learn people extraocular muscles are present as uh, muscle strands. So you can see that these extraocular muscles are present, what you call intrinsic muscles present. So I'm cleaning uh, the eye a little bit right, by removing these extra tissues. Okay, got rid of uh, some of the extra tissues. Right, our uh, eye is little clean. Uh, we'll try to make it uh, some more cleaner. So, from the posterior side, you can see this one is the optic nerve. Oh, maybe. This is optic nerve, right, from the back side. So, let me remove uh, these muscles, uh, the muscles coming behind the eye. So, let me clean it a uh, little more. So these extra ocular muscles, you know people, they are important for the movement of the eye. So the eyeball movement, uh, you learn in human eye, there are four uh, straight muscles available in each eye. And then uh, how many oblique, two oblique muscles are in present. So they are important for the rotation of the eye. They are important for the rotation of the eye. So you can see that my eye is now becoming a little more clean. Uh, Okay, one last uh, part and the eye is ready for your observation. Ah. Okay, that's the beautiful bovine eye. Okay. Beautiful, very right? awesome. And then uh, this side, you know what is this? Optic nerve. People, optic nerve is uh, part of the central nervous system. It's covered with all three meninges. Right, so we consider it as a part of the central nervous system. Right, so eye is clean, all the uh, extraocular muscles or the extrinsic muscles I have removed. Right, now it's time uh, to punch this to see some parts inside. All right, you have learned the eye structure. So this is uh, to see uh, what is inside. Look at this, it's very soft. It's like uh, yeah, fluid filled balloon, like very soft structure. So this is a bit challenging people to punch it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cross cut it like this in this plane, right? And then I'm going to open it, and then I'm going to show it to you. So let's uh, cut it, right? So I'm going to apply a cut in this uh, direction. I'm applying a little bit of pressure. So as I punch it, you will see that the vitreous humor, that is vitreous means glass, right? A glass like juice is going to come out, right? So glass like juice is coming out. And then, you know, people, there is a liquid like part available too. What is the liquid like part? Aqueous. What do you call aqueous humor and the vitreous humor. So you learn in the class that the aqueous humor is present in the 
the anterior and the posterior chamber and the vitreous humor is present in the cavity right behind the lens uh, the vitreous body right so uh, I'm going to punch this right you get a nice uh, feeling when you touch this okay I put an incision right put an incision and carefully cutting this along this incision my plan is to slowly open it up right so I can use the scissor now I think better I put a small scissor vitreous means glass this is really glass like uh, interior the inside is glass like so transparent okay this is is good transparent fluid present inside is going to now ooze out and i can feel it i'm touching it very soft prevent that it's flowing out I'll show it to you first so it's like this right so this part is more jelly like material glass like stuff right gel like material and then behind you can see somewhat shiny layer was look how eye shines in the night when you flash a light on its eye and then this is that transparent glass like part and then people in the forward side we can see and this is the open up eye so so i'm going to take the vitreous humor out in front of that this i'm touching now the lens this is the lens right. this is lens vitreous uh, body shiny retina present that shiny layer is the retina Behind that, the black color dye is available. This is a special feature in the cow eye. You don't see that in human eye. And that is to absorb the light which falls on the retina. So they have a very dark, more thick pigment containing layer present in their choroid. All right. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this uh, vitreous body out. Take the vitreous body out and I'm going to show you the lens. Look at this. Right. Hope it's clear. This is lens. And some of the iris pigments, you can see that present around the lens. Pigments present in the iris. They are present around the lens. And this jelly-like material is the vitreous, the glass vitreous body. We can separate the lens and this lens we can separate let me show you the lens after separation this one is the lens you know lens is having a lens capsule inside that lens uh, fibers are present this is a soft structure and you know this uh, structure can be adjust the curvature of this can be adjust by adjusting the ciliary body right so the lens this one is the lens right nice rubbery feeling percent oh god i think i yeah it's very soft soft like a jelly wall but it's cellular structure keep that in mind then here we can show you the retina so we learn the optic uh, nerve is somewhere here. So if you watch carefully against the optic nerve, here we have the blind spot. So this is a point. So I'm taking this uh, the retina and the neurons layer out. And here we have the blind spot. This point is blind spot. This is shiny. The inside of the eye is shiny right the retina and the layer behind 
uh, choroid is uh, shiny here okay and then people if you go to the front side of the eye ciliary body is present like a ring right this is the ciliary body present like a ring it's difficult to show you but this is ciliary body if you want i can uh, remove the ciliary body and show this this one is the ciliary body can be removed like this nice ciliary body and you know the lens is held by suspensor ligaments to the ciliary body this comes off there goes the ciliary body so what's present in front this one is the cornea transparent cornea right so transparent cornea so you can show my finger from the other side this is the cornea it's a double layered epithelium cornea and uh, that's what you need to know about the bovine eye human eye is somewhat similar but some differences present it's not this shiny it's like little dark in color right okay then that's all for the day thank you for watching bye bye see you